Hello everyone, and in this video, we are going to be discussing the ethical policy or theory called paternalism. And so these are no longer principles of ethics. We've discussed those previously to be non-maleficence, beneficence, autonomy, and justice. So those are these principles that we established, but now we're gonna look at the policies. So like, how do you apply these principles? And so when we talk about paternalism, what it is referring to is how you can have a group, like a bunch of doctors, get together and think that they should restrict the autonomy, the freedom of subordinates, which in this case could be something like a patient, and that's because the doctors think it is in the patient's best good to do so. And so there was a interesting case uh, a few decades ago in which this man was burned very severely, and he basically had his face, his hands burned off, he was in enormous pain and he the, he was at the hospital and he refused treatment. He was in so much pain that he just wanted to die. He wanted to refuse treatment and just die uh, because he was in so much pain. And despite the patient's wishes to not receive treatment, because the doctors and surgeons could still graft skin onto this guy and try to keep him alive, they did it. Um, and a confounding variable here was that the guy's mother was wanting to keep her son alive too. And even though the patient himself did not want to receive treatment, he did not want to have surgeries because he was in too much pain and he just wanted to die, the doctors and his mom all basically ended up giving this guy surgery and keeping him alive. And so this is an example of paternalism because the autonomy of this patient was disregarded and disrespected by people around him and in this context above him in the sense that they are doctors or surgeons. And so because this group of people disregarded the autonomy of this patient, it, because they thought they were acting in that patient's best interest, even though he was saying, I don't want to be treated, um, that is this thing, this is this policy that we call paternalism. And so that uh, is the key thing to take out of this. The other thing I will note here is that, you know, you can think of this in today's situation with like people who do not want to get vaccinated against COVID, but you've got physicians and you've got government officials who are all saying that in this instance, because getting vaccinated is something that is not just for yourself, but it's for the greater good of society, that we are going to take away your autonomy to make you get vaccinated or make you get COVID tested is something that is another instance of what is paternalism. Uh, and so I'm gonna wrap things up with that. I hope this is helpful or interesting. I'm gonna have any questions. Thank you all for watching and I hope you're all doing well. I'll talk to you guys next time.